Okay, so see two horizontal metal plates. Let's draw a picture for you. They're separated by 3.5 centimeters. So the, the distance here, I'll call it delta R, is uh, 0 0.0350 meters. The power supply is, is connected with the positive side on the top. Okay. So therefore, this is going to be like the negative side. And the minus side on the bottom plate. What is the magnitude and direction of the electric field between the plates? OK, this is interesting, right? So we know that um, the electric field is the opposite of the change in voltage divided by R. OK, so let's, let's go. Let's change. By the way, I know that this electric field is down because I know that a positive charge placed here would go down. But let's see if we can get it using like all this vector stuff. Okay, so let's make up the positive direction. Let's make this displacement there positive, whatever, right? Okay, so now we can do this, right? If I go from this plate to this plate, I go up by 12 volts. So it's the opposite of positive 12 volts, that's my change in voltage, right? And then I would also displace myself in a positive direction by 0 0.0350 meters, okay? So 12 divided by 0 0.035 is 342.8, but it's negative, so it would be uh, negative 343 volts per meter, which is the same units, by the way, as newtons per coulomb. In fact, it's more common to see volts per meter than newtons per coulomb. Um, the fact that it's negative would, in our little system here, would make it down. Okay, so it's 343 volts per meter and the electric field is down. I generally, you know, in these types of problems, I just draw a picture and figure it out from the picture. But really, this does work. Okay, you just have to set up a system where one direction is positive and the other direction is negative, and then decide what's a positive displacement, what's a positive change in voltage. Um, all right.